Aloha. Um, this is a uh, video update of what God is doing in Missoula, Montana through Burn 24-7 uh, worship ministry here and with my band Tribal Fire. Um, God has been using those of us here in uh, Burn 24-7 to help release worship, praise, intercession, and prophecy that actually is helping bring a change to the spiritual atmosphere above our city of Missoula and throughout. And it's just been amazing because, like, I mean, you just feel the presence of God uh, more strongly uh, when you travel through our city now. I've noticed uh, um, people's hearts becoming more soft and open. You know, non-believers who had really... Um, hard hearts are becoming more and more open. Uh, I even recently got a lead, a, a young man named Spencer, uh, to Jesus, who I was, um, I was his guitar teacher, and uh, the Lord sent me after him to help uh, share the gospel with him, and, and he was so open and receptive and immediately said, you know, I want this, and got saved, got delivered, got touched by the Holy Ghost, and it's changed forever, and now my little brother in Christ, and it's just awesome. And God is just opening doors in this hour, and opening hearts in this hour. And I found that worship and uh, the burn has been uh, an integral part of this. Uh, the Lord showed me this great picture of Him pouring out oil all over our city, and then smiling and dropping a match on it, and boom, just you know, flames going up in the spirit. Um, and so when we worship, you know, his presence comes, his oil comes. When we enter into the consuming fire, when we get that close to God, you know, his fire comes and our hearts get lit and our uh, cities and, and streets can get lit up. And uh, so it's just been amazing. Um, and the most recent picture he gave me for this burn, this, this time of worship, is uh, a Joel 3.16 that the Lord roars from Zion. And I saw a picture of the Lord roaring as the Lion of the tribe of Judah, which it says that Jesus is in Revelations 5.5. 5. And uh, when a lion roars, uh, like over its cubs, over its children, a couple of things happen, like a, a fear and reverence of the uh, parent, you know, is instilled in the young lions. They can actually, you know, like, wow, you know, my dad has power. Um, and it also awakens the lions to who they are as young lions. Because like, uh, you know, with like a family of lions, a pack of lions, like if uh, a predator was to come, the uh, the parents would roar, you know, against the uh, the enemy. And there's power and, and fear that can like come out of that, strike fear in the hearts of their enemies. Well, it's the same thing with us. Like he's roaring over us to instill that fear of him in our hearts, that reverence of him and to awaken us to who we are as young lions so that we would start to roar, so that when the enemy comes, we wouldn't just like, oh God, oh God, oh God. It would be like we would take our God-given authority and we would uh, use it against the enemy because that's what Christ gave every disciple is all power and authority over the enemy and that we would actually roar. Like there's a such thing as roaring in the spirit. Like I've laughed in the spirit because I've been so intoxicated and filled up with his love and joy that I'm like a drunken man. I've gotten hit with such intense peace of the spirit. It's almost like being high, you know? I mean, you're just so overcome with this peace. You just, it's just awesome. But there's also something called roaring in the spirit where this holy indignation just rises up, you know, when the enemy comes knocking. And it's like Christ inside and it's also my spirit just roaring. And I've released like these, you know, roars in my prayer and in my worship. And I know it's, brought about like a huge shift in the atmosphere and and in my life as the enemy tries to come in and attack because the bible warns like that the enemy walks around like a roaring lion so do everything you can to stand in the evil day wear the full armor of god be ready which is what we need to do um but the thing with the enemy is is uh, his uh, he was given such a blow at the cross uh, that his teeth were knocked out, that his headship was like dethroned by Jesus, because it says that uh, he that Jesus made a public spectacle of them, disarming every power and principality and, and lesser demon through the cross. And uh, so that's already been done. That's the finished work to the cross. We just need to reinforce it, because the enemy likes to steal, kill, and destroy, like it says in John 10:10. 10, 10. Um, and so. 
we still need to take authority over our enemy. We still need to um, deal with him when he comes. The nice thing is his teeth is already knocked out. We have the authority. He doesn't. We can just you know, either stand against him, tolerate him, or even open the door through sin to let him come in and steal from our lives. But the Lord is roaring over his bride and over his children, and the Lord is causing us to roar and causing the enemies to be scattered. And so that's one thing that, that's going to happen at the burn tonight. He's shown me that he's going to roar over us and cause us to roar, and that our enemies are going to go running from the hills. The demonic gear over our city is going to come down. I mean, powerful change in the atmosphere. And I would love if you would pray for Missoula, for God's... Uh, I, I believe this is a place he's targeted, that he's put on the map for revival, that he's going to raise up a huge uh, training and equipping center here, that there's going to be a mighty move of the Spirit, that that he's just going to set this place ablaze with his love and with his just passion for Jesus. Um, and if you would pray for Burn Missoula and Peter and Amanda Hartzell and all of us that are connected with Burn, that God would use us powerfully, that he would provide for us powerfully. Uh, Peter has some awesome vision for uh, what God wants to do in this city and, and stuff that needs to get built and raised up for that and uh, is going to need absolute miraculous provision. If you would pray for that, that would be awesome. Um, if you would pray for my band, Tribal Fire, that God would give us grace to just continue to uh, flow musically and prophetically together and release uh, our worship and release the, the anointing, the, the breaker anointing, the um, the roar, you know, that would set people free, that would help bring the awakening, um, that you would provide for us, that um, he would bring people into this, uh, this band and also into this ministry. I, I believe he's going to draw people from all over the world, all over the United States, to uh, get in on this and be a part of what he's doing here, you know. Um, and so your prayers for any and all the above would be awesome. And I just want to leave a prayer impartation for you. Heavenly Father, I just lift up this uh, these dear saints who are going to watch this video, Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are the Lion of the tribe of Judah, and you are roaring from Zion. You are roaring from heaven over your children and your bride. I pray, Lord, that you would roar over these saints, Lord God, that you would instill a deeper fear of the Lord in their hearts, Lord God, deeper reverence for you, Lord God, that you would bring an awakening to who they are as lions from the tribe of Judah underneath you, Lord God, that you would cause them to roar, Lord. I release that impartation to roar in the spirit, Lord God, to roar against their enemies, to see their enemies uh, scattered, that you would give them breakthrough against their enemies like a breakthrough of water, Lord God, that you would release fresh oil and fresh fire over them, Lord God. I just call forth you warriors to arise in this hour, to arise and to shine in the glory of God. You were born for such a time as this. Come forth, dread champions. Come forth, sons of thunder. Come forth, warriors of the Most High God. Come forth, warrior bride. In the name of Jesus, I just bless you. I just uh, join with the Lord in calling you forth calling you forth. You're called to be mighty men and women of valor with faces like lions because the lion of the tribe of Judah uh, resides in you and he's going to roar through you as over you. Hallelujah. So Lord, bless these ones, God. Pour out your spirit and your grace all over them, God. Help them to roar, Lord, in their cities. Help them to begin taking cities, Lord God. Expand their vision, Lord God. Show them what you would have them to do, Lord. Bring about unity in these believers, Lord God, with their families, with their churches, with their friends, Lord God, to band together like uh, packs of lions, Lord God, going with you, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, just like in the movie uh, Chronicles of Narnia with those who would walk with Aslan. Lord, I thank you that Aslan is on the move. I thank you that you, Jesus, are on the move and you are roaring in this hour and you're causing us to roar right along with you. Bless them, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Thank you so much for your prayer.